Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WV1GCM, here at the ARO Laboratory. Let's take a look at the Hard Rock 50. Ah, here it is, the Hard Rock 50, with its large heat sink on top. Here's the front part, but I'll show you that in a moment with the power on. Let's take a look at the back side first. And we have RF input and RF output. Anderson power pole, DC input here, USB control. Uh, push to talk line to manually key the amplifier, turning it on and off, and the accessory port. Let's turn the Hard Rock 50 on. There's the power switch. On it goes. It takes a few seconds for it to run through its processor. There we go. It says Hard Rock 50 amplifier. Okay. Well, uh, you have the temperature of the uh, amp right here. It's at room temperature, about 80 degrees here. Here's your input DC voltage the band that you're operating on, and the method of keying. Right now it's in standby. If I press the key mode button right here, that's push to talk, that uses the RCA jack in the back to key it, and carrier operated relay. That's great to have for those little QRP radios like the MFJ Cub, which doesn't offer a key line in the back. In fact, uh, let's take a look at the Cub we have handy, it operates on 40 meters, so I'm going to select the band. We're on 160 now, select the band up to 80 and 40 meters. Now if I key the Cub with the Morse code key over here, it goes into transmit mode, shows you the SWR of 1.4 to 1, that's my dummy load that I'm using, and a power output of about 42 watts. Hey, that matches the bird right on the button. And just as shown before, the MFJ Cub here with a one and a half watt output will, with the amplifier's help, put out a little over 40 watts. There it is on the bird meter. Pretty good. That'll give your QRP rig a little boost when conditions die down. QRP's fun, but sometimes they need that little bit of extra oomph at the end of the Q cell when conditions change for the worse. I use an amplifier sometimes with my little QRP rig. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory.